do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human respiration in that we are studying topic ts of lungs now when i say ts it means transverse section of lungs deep study of lungs would involve ts that is transverse section and vs that is vertical section of lungs let's study about it today ts of lungs or simply you say transverse section of lungs whenever you dissect a human lung and try to study its ts or vs for that matter what we observe is that lungs will show large number of bronchioles as well as bronchi now this bronchioles and bronchi could be primary secondary tertiary any one of those along with that at the end of the bronchioles what you will observe is air sacs and these are alveoli that helps in exchange of gases that is o2 and co2 and a lot of blood capillaries obviously for oxygen flow removal lot of oxygen carbon dioxide energy all of them also the walls of the bronchioles and bronchi contain a smooth muscles now this muscles could be elastic or inelastic in nature basically most of the time they are elastic fibers and sometimes they are great amount or a medium amount of collagen fibers which provide the lungs an elasticity or you can say a duration a durability also your air sacs or we say it simply alveoli are lined up by squamous epithelium cell now we all know that different types of cells are present glandular squamous ciliated squamous epithelium cells are basically present in your alveoli which provided a permeability just to exchange of those gases and just below that there are blood capillaries lying around ts of lungs or we say it simply transverse section of lungs now basically the ts of lungs show large number of bronchioles or you can say bronchi as well as air sacs or alveoli at the end of those bronchi and the presence of blood capillaries now this blood capillaries could be portal circulation blood capillaries or hepatic circulation blood capillaries also the wall of the bronchioles or bronchi contain smooth muscle fibers now this smooth muscle fibers basically helps to form striations or non striated region muscular forces elastic fibers and collagen fibers are a common seen in this bronchiolar region air sacs or alveoli basically is lined up by squamous epithelium cell now squamous epithelium cell had intracellular spaces a little adhesive also squamous epithelium the nucleus is arranged in a certain fashion and they just lie below them are capillaries or simply you say blood vessels
Now vesicular air sacs or alveoli help in gaseous exchange. Also, the capillaries that lie around there are very fine and they allow only a single low row of RBC cells or red blood cells to just pass in. Now a film or you can say a type of a protein which is termed as lipoprotein and lectinin is found in those regions. Now these proteins help breathing to take place very easily or smoothly. Also it reduces the surface tension due to increasing molecules of oxygen and carbon dioxide and the speed of the diffusion process. When I say the speed of the diffusion process, I mean the intake of oxygen to the tissues to different organs via blood and the removal of CO2 from the respiratory system between the air and the blood and also they kill certain bacteria that reach the lung region and those bacteria that actually reach the lung region may not be killed every time for example tuberculosis bacteria or multi drug resistant tb bacteria will not be killed uncertainly or it will be only killed in one percent cases whereas your normal bacteria or normal flu viruses will be killed most of the time pneumoniitis in small scales can be cured or can be killed but any bacteria or any infection at greater large quantity will not be killed and it can hamper the respiratory system so students in this part of the chapter we did study about the ts of lungs how does that work what are the organs systems and proteins present i hope you all are very clear about this concept thank you